Hello, welcome to Hersco Online, your online resource for education in foot orthotics, custom shoes and orthopedic devices. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at materials choices for foot orthotics. If the decision is to make a functional orthotic for the patient, or that's the doctor's script that we're following, typically we'll use a thermoplastic or a graphite material. These materials are semi-rigid or rigid, depending on the thickness chosen. Some examples here would include a carbon graphite device, which is thin and firm, or another popular choice are polypropylenes, and finally, another example here, which is a subortholin. Again, the same material, subortholin, is available in various thicknesses, such as two millimeter, three millimeter, and four millimeter. And so, just by changing the thickness, we can affect the rigidity for the patient, depending on their weight and on their shoe size. These devices, functional orthotics made from thinner, thermoformable materials, are very helpful when we want to treat things such as heel pain or plantar fasciitis. The second broad category of accommodative devices are usually full-length foot molds designed to contour to the entire plantar aspect of the foot. Common materials for these devices include corks. We have an example here of a old-style thermocork and also a more modern material, thermocork light, which has a high durometer and uh, still remains lightweight inside the shoe. And for lighter weight patients, or if we want a little more comfort, we can use a material such as a softer foam or an EVA. Again, all of these materials come in a range of durometers based on the patient's weight and also what the doctor is trying to achieve in his prescription. Typically, we'll use accommodative foot molds for patients who have conditions such as diabetes, where we're not so concerned about control, but just in protecting the foot and possibly offloading pressure spots or bony prominences. Finally, there's a variety of top covers that are available, and these too can aid in the function of the device. Plastazotes, as an example, are used for diabetics in order to protect the foot. However, they do break down over time. Other materials such as neoprene-based Spencos, for example, or Sky materials, offer plenty of shock absorption. However, they do take up room inside the shoe. Thinner materials, such as vinyls or leathers, are very durable and they're excellent on orthotics where space is going to be an issue, such as when the patient will wear primarily dress shoes or slip-ons or loafers. Please go to our website and see the article Material Choices for Foot Orthotics, where we get a fuller description of each of the materials that are available, the appropriate times to use them, and there's also a table which will help you uh, choose the device based on the prescription that you're faced with and also the particular patient's needs. Thank you once again for joining us at Hersco Online.